Today I'm going to show you how to track student behaviors using Google Forms and Google Sheets. To begin, I'll show you what we use at my school building. I created this Google Form uh, in which I included um, a few different categories here, all of which are required. Uh, and uh, what the, the teacher does, the teacher comes in and fills this form out. So um, I've got the period here, period of the day, and a drop-down menu, another drop-down menu here with the student's name. Then uh, the issue, whatever happened, you can check it. It's a checkbox. You can check more than one. Also includes an other uh, one there too. And then a brief description of the behavior that the teacher can put in further um, details if needed. Uh, and then all they have to do is click on Submit right here, and uh, it's good to go. W uh, once they fill it out, it automatically goes to this sheet that I'm about to show you, and it's very handy. You'll see here that um, every single um, behavior that's happened shows up in this sheet. Okay, and you can see um, if I keep going down, there's quite a few different things now that are being tracked. Okay, and <clears throat> now for um, privacy reasons, I'll keep that very brief. Um, I'm going to show you how to um, create this. Okay. So what you'll do, actually we'll go to Google Drive here, and um, let's be new. So what you need to do is click on New when in Google Drive right over here, go down to More, then choose Google Forms right here. Then again, it is so simple at this point what you need to do. Uh, you just put in the, the same things I did, so you're going to put your period in. Okay, now the, um, the period one is a drop-down menu, so we're going to go to drop-down right there. Okay, and you can put period, one, hit enter, two, enter, three, you get the idea. Okay, you mark this as required, make sure to do this. Then click on the plus button here to add a new one. Uh, this is also going to be a drop-down, and this is where you put student name. John, we got Sam, and we got Jack, and Diane. There you go. You have to. <clears throat> um, after that, uh, what else do we have in here? You had the issue. So you can come next. So you're gonna again click on the plus. You know, the issue was a um, checkbox one. Issue. So we can go this respect. Um, one we can do oops sorry about that um, we can do tardy for another one um, we had some problem with some smoking and vaping issues in my school uh, that could be another etc etc the only tip that I would give you is to try not to make this list too long okay for example on ours we're running the risk of, uh, of being too long right here we've actually had to condense some of these down um, and I think I'm going to push to further condense them down. The more simple this is, the better. The more likely it'll succeed, uh, or your effort will succeed. Okay? Uh, so after issue, and the last one is brief behavior description. So a plus up here. This one is going to be a short answer one. And before I forget, we forgot to make this one required. There we go. Okay, now this is going to be brief behavior. Okay. Make this one required as well. And then you are good to go. You've um, you've created uh, the, the sheet as, as needed right there. So um, what you're going to go to next is send. All right. Now this is where yeah, you want to make sure to collect respondent's email address. Make sure to do that. And after that, you're going to type in your staff member's emails right here. Um, if you belong to a Google school district, you might be able to just type in some uh, letters to get all of your staff, or if you've got groups um, already created, you can do that. Otherwise, you're going to want to include every teacher um, in that email thing there. Okay, uh, then you click on send, and you're good to go. Okay, um, so now let me show you something here. Okay, so now attached to this, by the way, what I went to was I clicked on responses. We were on questions, I clicked on responses. Uh, here, you'll see, create a spreadsheet. Okay, you're going to want to do this. And um, you click on the spreadsheet, and this will come up. Create a new spreadsheet. That's what you want to do. It, uh, call it. Um, it'll be titled the same thing as your form. As you, uh, you can see, I did not title my form. Title it whatever you want. Okay. Uh, then you're going to click on Create right here. 
All right, now you can see um, it's just like the, uh, the sheet that I showed you from our school. Um, you've got the timestamp when the behavior was entered in, the email address of the teacher, um, that entered it in, the period, the student name, the issue, uh, the brief behavior description. The one thing I'm going to uh, tell you you should do um, is to add one other item. And before we actually do that, you want to click over here to this box. So everything now is highlighted. Once you do that, you want to click on text wrapping and then click on wrap. Now you'll see this brief, brief behavior one, it wrapped down instead of leading into uh, this G column, which is good because we needed to add something to the G column here. Uh, we're going to put, um, let's see here, we put response or um, follow up. That's what we call it, a follow up category. So now this is meant for teachers to come in after the fact, after the behavior has been entered in here automatically. Um, and if you are responsible for that student, say you are their advisor, um, or if you're responsible in any other way, um, you come in here and and uh, report what you did to intervene in this situation. What was the intervention? What was the follow-up? How did it go? This column, the follow-up one, is the most important column because if you're not following up with this stuff, it doesn't matter that you're keeping track of it. The follow-up, the interventions, that is what's important. So you're going to also instill in your staff that they need to be going to this sheet regularly to check it out. Okay, It should be like a daily thing that they do, if not multiple times a day. Um, uh, a great uh, idea to do with this would be to uh, create a Google Classroom with your staff members and in that Google Classroom in the About section you would put this student behavior form and the response sheet in there. So then staff can easily um, find that form instead of having to search through Google Drive which can be um, kind of confusing at times and takes a little bit of time. Okay, um, So that would be my suggestion. Um, so there you go. That um, is how you create a student behavior form uh, using Google Sheets and Google Forms. Um, email me if you've got any other questions. I hope you found this helpful.